Hey guys, Tony here from Tech Bytes, and this is the Orco 5 bait hard drive enclosure that they sent over to me and I've been using it for the past few days and I have to say it is a really useful addition to my setup. So I was actually running really low on storage. I only had 1.5 terabytes of SSD storage in my personal build and I was in desperate need of some extra hard drives. So I reached out to Orco and asked them if they wanted to send over a 5 bay hard drive enclosure and they sent over this one. This one includes RAID as well and RAID is basically a redundant array of inexpensive disks or drives. I don't remember which one it was for the D, for the letter D. And I also picked up two Seagate Ironwolf drives, 8 terabytes each. And these are NAS drives. Uh, NAS is basically a network attached server. This is not NAS though, so you can't attach this to your network. You can't attach this to your router and wirelessly transfer uh, files. However, I found this to be really useful because it still does have a USB 3.0 connection and it still does provide fast enough speeds for my uses. So let's talk about the physical features of this hard drive enclosure first. It has an aluminum alloy build, so it's fairly sturdy and uh, it also has five slots in this specific one and it's toolless so you don't need any screws or screwdrivers to install any hard drives in there and it accepts 3.5 inch drives. Most internal hard drives are this size and there's also a key included with the box so you can lock your hard drives in there but I feel like it's kind of useless especially in my case because I'm just gonna leave it on my desk and if someone actually wanted to steal it they would steal the whole thing not just like one drive. I mean I guess this could prevent like kids just opening it up and messing something up so that is definitely uh, something to keep in mind. It's handy if you need it. And I guess having a key to prevent your drives from falling out might prevent any damage from uh, earthquakes, for example, because if an earthquake shakes around and a drive just somehow comes out loose, it won't happen with a key if you lock it. So on the back, you get one USB 3.0 type B output and they include a cable, a USB type B to USB type A cable and it's a USB 3.0 one. So it transfers files at five gigabits per second uh, compared to SATA, which is six gigabits per second. So it is kind of bottlenecking the speeds compared to if you just use a SATA hard drive, uh, if it was internal in your computer. But the thing with USB is that you can also use this on a laptop because uh, it's obviously gonna use a USB connection. So you could just plug this into your laptop. The enclosure also features a small fan in the back to get rid of all the heat. And I believe it's set in a negative pressure airflow setup. So it just forces fresh air to come in through the front of the hard drive enclosure and then uh, hot air out the back. And on the back, you also have an on off switch as well as a port for power. And uh, there's a 150 watt power supply built into the unit. The power supply also has some interesting features such as overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, leakage protection, overheat protection, and over voltage protection. So I believe if you have a power surge or any weird things with your power, it should still be okay and not damage everything. And one of the most standout features with this enclosure is the RAID feature. So you can enable multiple RAID modes. And I have my drives set to RAID 1, uh, so they basically mirror each other. Instead of 16 terabytes of total storage, I have about 7.37 terabytes of storage. So my drives are basically mirroring each other so that uh, if one drive fails, then the other one should still be fine. And I prefer this mode because I want the most safe backup. I don't want to just lose any files if uh, one drive just gets corrupted or breaks or whatever. And I shoot a ton of 4K video and I plan on shooting even more 4K video in the near future. So I needed a lot more storage and I feel like a little more than seven terabytes is gonna be fine for at least the next couple years. I could always just add more hard drives and it's toolless yet again, so you could just slot them in, close up the hard drive bay. It's really convenient to uh, use. Oracle's software that you can download from the website is also pretty intuitive. You can follow the instructions included in the box. You just have to unzip the file, launch the program, and uh, configure your drives in whichever RAID mode you want to. You also have to initialize the drives and I believe it depends on which OS you have, but you can just go on Windows Disk Manager and, uh, and assign your drive some letters. This drive enclosure has a maximum capacity of 80 terabytes, so that's five times 16 terabyte hard drives. And I only have two eight terabyte ones right now. And in the future, I could just get more eight terabyte ones. I hear that you shouldn't really mix and match uh, different hard drives, even different capacities if you're running in a RAID mode. I feel like just having a bunch of eight terabyte drives should be more than fine for my usage. I just forgot to mention you can use 2.5 inch drives such as SSDs in this as well though you might need a bracket because it is kind of hard to reach in there. The SATA ports are in the very back of the enclosure so with a hard drive it's obviously going to be easier because it's just really large but with an SSD or 2.5 inch drive you might have to get a bracket to install it in there but it should still be relatively toolless or as toolless as possible. I haven't installed any 2.5 inch SSDs in there so I can't say myself. So let's talk about performance of my two Seagate 8 terabyte Ironwolf drives in RAID 1. I was getting about 200 megabits per second read and write. 
I don't remember the specific speeds. I'll have a screenshot like uh, right here. So I would say it's still pretty good. These are obviously hard drives, so they aren't gonna be as fast as an SSD. And it's good enough for me because I don't really wanna edit off these. I'm just gonna back up my files on them. So uh, in case I ever need to access my files, something that I've shot maybe a year or a couple months ago, I can always uh, have them connected to my PC. It's just really convenient. I do have a one terabyte PCIe 4.0 SSD from Sabrent that I use to uh, offload all my video files that I currently work on. And it's a lot faster than using a hard drive, obviously. And then once I'm done with the full video project and all the raw files, I just dump it all into my hard drive enclosure. And I feel like this has definitely helped my workflow because I have a ton more storage now. I don't have to delete any raw files. And I know some people say this is kind of a lazy approach because instead of refilming things, you're just gonna rely on your old stuff. But I feel like it's just safer to have something and I don't wanna go on YouTube and screen record a YouTube video if I wanna get a clip. I just wanna have it all ready and convenient, already plugged in my PC if I ever need it. So would I say this is useful? Definitely I would say it's useful because it connects your PC via USB 3.0. It's fairly toolless. The construction is fairly good, aluminum alloy. So configure multiple RAID modes and I haven't explored every single mode. I've only done RAID 1. There's also a fan in the back to get rid of all the heat from the hard drives, and you can also lock the hard drives as well if you do want that feature. So thank you all so much for watching this video of the Orco 5 Bay hard drive. I'll link it in the description down below for your convenience. Thank you to Orco for sending this out to review. I really enjoy using this, and I have to say this is definitely gonna stay on my desk for the next couple years, unless I get a NAS in the future to attach to my router. But other than that, I have to say this is really convenient, and I enjoy using it. So thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.